English topic the extra chapati. So turn to page number 37 and just follow the lines where I am reading. Let us read the lesson and then see what is the story or what is the story of this extra chapati. What happens here? Let us uh, read and come to know the story children. So children, there was a woman in a remote village who baked chapatis for the members of her family and an extra one for a passer by. So there was a woman in a remote village who baked chapati for the members of the family and also one extra chapati for a passer by. She used to uh, bake chapatis. Okay, like this. Uh, and then one extra chapati, that was the habit of uh, that woman. She used to bake one extra chapati for the passer by. Okay, she kept the extra chapati on the window sill. You can see here in the picture here. So, she kept the extra chapati on the window sill. Every day, she used to bake chapati for her family members and one extra chapati she used to bake and she used to keep it on the window sill for the passer by. Every day, a hunchback. So, hunchback means what? A person with a hump on her or his back. So, you can see in the picture here. Every day, a hunchback came and took away the chapati. So that was the routine. Every day she used to bake, she used to keep extra chapati on the windowsill and the hunchback would come and take the chapati there. Okay. He expressed his gratitude in some strange words. So he used to express his gratitude means thankfulness. Gratitude means you can see the meanings children in the textbook in the last line you can see. So, uh, so he used to uh, express his gratitude in some strange uh, uh, words. He used to mutter the following words as he went away. Every day he used to take the chapati and he used to express his gratitude in strange, strange words. He used to mutter what was those words. So he used to say the evil you do remains with you. The good you do comes back to you. This went on for days. So every day she used to keep that chapati and he used to take and he used to say this words. He used to mutter the following words as he went away. Now the woman felt Irritated. Irritated means what? Disturbed, angry. So every day uh, to express his uh, gratitude, he used to mutter these words. But the woman was irritated. She could not understand what the uh, Anjabak wanted to tell. And she was, uh, so days went on like this and she was irritated. She was, she got angry on hearing these words daily. Daily uh, she was uh, irritated by hearing these words. So then not a word of gratitude she said to herself. She would think not a word of gratitude. He is not at all thanking me. Uh, just he is muttering these words and she will uh, think. Uh, so what she will think? So I must do something. So she will think I should do something to get rid of this hunchback. Okay. She will think that I should do something to get rid, uh, get rid of this hunchback she will think. And what did she do in the uh, exasperation? Exasperation means what? Annoyance, okay. Annoyance. Uh, she added poison to the extra chapati. So what she will do to get rid of this hunchback? She will add ex. Uh, she, sorry. She will add poison to the extra chapati. But as she was about to keep the chapati on the window sill as window sill as as usual, so she added poison to the extra chapati and uh, she wanted to keep the chapati on on the uh, window sill as usual. She used to keep everywhere like that. But her hands trembled. It starts shaking. It, her hand trembled. What is this I am doing? What is this I am doing? She will think of herself. At once she threw the chapati into the fire. At once she threw the chapati into the fire. Prepared another one and kept it on the window sill. So she will think, she will uh, get irritated by the words what the hunchback uh, was saying and uh, she also think that how, how I should get rid of this uh, hunchback and she will add poison to the chapati and she uh, wanted to keep it on the window sill but her uh, hands trembled and uh, she will also think what is this I am doing she will think at once she threw the chapati in the fire and made, uh, made another chapati and she kept it on the window sill. The hunchback came picked up the chapati and muttered the words. Again he will uh, uh, say the same words that is the evil you do remains with you the good you do comes back to you like this he will say. Saying this the hunchback went on his way Ignorant of the turmoil within the woman's mind. Saying this, the hunchback went on his way. Ignorant means what? Unaware. He was not knowing what uh, what was going on in uh, the woman's mind there. And he took the chapati. He was, uh, said the same words and he went away. And he was ignorant of the turmoil. Turmoil means what? A state of 
confusion and anxiety what was going on within the mind of the woman he was not knowing that one every day the woman while placing the chapati on the window sill offered a prayer for her son so what she used to do every day the woman while placing the chapati on the window sill she used to offer a prayer for her son every day she used to do that one who had gone to a city to seek for his fortune he who had gone to a city to seek his for to maybe had gone uh, you know search of job maybe so every day before placing the chapati she was to pray for god for her uh, for her son there she had no news of uh, him for months she prayed for his well being so there was no news of uh, her son for months and she prayed for him every day okay uh, for his uh, well being she used to pray for god okay and then one evening on opening the door to a knock so one evening what happened on opening the door to a knock she was pleasantly surprised to find her son standing at the door one day what happened so one evening on opening the door to a knock she could see that her son was standing in front of the door there at the same time she was so shocked to see him in a miserable condition she could see that her son was standing uh, in front of the door and as she was shocked to see him in miserable condition why she was shocked he had grown thin lean and his clothes were tattered okay he had grown thin lean and his clothes were tattered okay he was looking hungry starved and weak he was looking hungry weak and starved he cried on seeing his mother okay he cried on seeing his mother mom it's a miracle miracle means what magic so the uh, the woman son will come uh, come and he will uh, uh, explain whatever had happened there so let us see what is uh, what is going to say there mom it's a miracle i am here i am famished i crawled on my way back home so he will uh, say to the uh, his mother there so famished means what very hungry starved and then uh, collapsed means fell down unconscious mom it's a miracle I am here. I am famished. I am collapsed on my way back home. So I was very hungry, starved. I was uh, collapsed on my way back home. But uh, so he is telling it is a miracle that I am. Uh, I am standing in front of you after all this happened. He is saying there, and um, and also he will say I would have died, but for the timely help of a hunchback, I would have died. Uh, but for the timely help of a hunchback, I begged of him for a morsel of food. Morsel means what? Morsel means bite. Okay, I begged of him for a morsel of food, and he was kind enough to give me a whole chapati, saying, "This is what I eat every day. Today you can eat it." So he is telling that, "Mom, it's a miracle. Even though I am uh, starved and I was so, uh, I was collapsed on the way back home." but still i am standing in front of you means because i met a hunchback on the way he gave this chapati to me after having the chapati i came back home he will tell everything to her, his mother there so uh, his uh, uh, and also he was kind enough to give me a uh, whole chapati saying this for every day i eat this chapati today you can eat it he gave me hunchback i met a hunchback on the Way back home, and he had given me this story. It is a miracle that I am standing in front of you because I was starved, I was uh, very much tired, and I would have been died. But for the time being, for a hunchback, I am here. He will explain everything to his mother. Okay, the mother knew for sure that it was the same hunchback, and turned pale. So the mother knew. Uh, when he told that he met the hunchback on the way and uh, that he gave a chapati to him, she came to know that that is the same hunchback who used to come and take the chapati from the window. So she will, she will come to know and she will turn pale there because why she will, uh, why it happens like that means uh, she was thinking to get rid of the uh, hunchback by putting poison to the chapati, isn't it? And then she clasped her son to her arms and remembered the poisoned chapati. Clasped means what? Fell down unconscious. Sorry. Class means hugged. So class means hugged. She hugged her son in her arms and remembered the poison chapati. So she knew that. So the uh, her son whom he met on the way, it is the same hunchback. And also she hugged her son and then she started thinking about the poison chapati there. Had she not thrown that chapati and replaced it, so it's supposed she have not uh, thrown that poison chapati. So what would have happened? 
So Dhanush Bhai could have given that poison chapati, chapati to the uh, woman's son and son would have eaten and today he would not be uh, alive in penthouse. So everything she will uh, think and uh, she will feel very uh, sad there. Okay. And she, uh, had she not thrown the chapati and replaced it with another one, her son would not have been alive. She will come to know everything then. It was at that moment, so it was at that moment, the significance of the words dawned on mm. her. So the significance of whatever the hunchback crystals uh, muttered those words, no? So that uh, the meaning of that she came to know uh, at the end of the uh, story then. The evil you do remains with you, the good you do comes back to you. So that uh, significant the meaning of that word she will understand then. So if suppose that hunchback, if she would have uh, kept the poison chapati on the uh, window sill, what would have happened? Today her son would have not been alive. She will think like that and answer. She will understand the meaning of the words, what the hunchback used to say everything. So children, what is the moral, moral of the story? Do good. So good will be happen to you. So good will be done to you or evil begets evil. So do good. And that is the moral here. Good will be done to you. So you will understand that one. Okay children. I hope you have understood. Read the lesson and find out the meanings in the dictionary also and even you can find out the meanings in the textbook also. So children, uh, in the previous lesson, uh, uh, so a few uh, mains are there. Let us discuss in the next class the objectives and this lesson's objectives and then remaining notes and all. I will send you later. So read the lesson children. I will make you to read the lesson in the next online class also. Okay. See you in the next class. Thank you.